Hey, what's up, you amazing hackers? Welcome back. So today I want to talk to you about API testing a little bit more. I've created a challenge for you guys. And if you want to participate in this challenge, I advise you to pause right now because I'm going to give away its secrets, of course. Well, first of all, you have a books array here. And what I wanted you guys to do is I want you guys to give me the admin interface for this. Now, a lot of you have been trying a lot of things and it's really cool that you've been trying. I told you guys you don't really need anything you don't really need any tools for this and it's true because you can just keep on trying uh, it's just going to be admin as anyway i'm not i didn't pull any tricks on you here uh, a lot of you guys kept trying and you did some really good things like like this uh, like, like this admin you kept adding admin to different parts of the url and that was really really good but none of you almost none of you a few of you didn't stop to realize that this is version two of my api there's also a first version of my API. And if I go to the admin interface on that version, I will get a totally different result because of course that's an old API. It's a shadow API. Nobody even knows it exists anymore, but it's forming a problem right now. And that's not good, of course. Tell your shadow APIs, guys. If you are working in a company, if you are a manager and if you are in the possibility, then kill your shadow APIs. They are not good for you. So to the next one because this was only the first challenge let's show you guys the code real quick let's show you guys what's behind this because i pulled some tricks here to get this to working the way i want it i have two different arrays here i have a books array which is of course useful because that's what you get shown uh, if you don't go anywhere if you just go to the slash you will get shown something different let's show you guys that as well because it might be interesting so and the, the base URL, you get distant reading archive and for that APR for distant reading of science fiction novels. This is some code I pulled off the internet. And if you look at the code exactly, you will see also that I have an admin array in here. Now, if you look at this one, you see that I have a pop for version two, resources, books, all, and it's a get call. So what it does is it, it it basically JSONify this. JSONify is putting this into a JSON format, which can be displayed to the user. Uh, and I have the same thing for the admin array. I just return a different array depending on what path you go on to, but you have to have the exact URL right. Now, I know it was a little tricky and I'm sorry that I had to do this this way, but it's, it's the only way I could pull this off in a quick amount of time. Now I have a second one as well that I want to show you guys. I'm not going to show you how it works quite yet. I'm just going to open it up because this one's also pretty interesting. Now on port 5002, there's also a new site going on here. And I can see uh, the version two isn't here. So I have a version one. I have all of my books in here and I see zero, I see one and I see two. And then I can also go to a specific books if I add an ID to it, so question mark ID question mark ID equals whatever I want. So I can go to the first book, get some more information. I can go to the second book, get some more information. And I wanted you guys to find my hidden book on here. And it really wasn't tricky at all. All you have to do is change the identifier. And there you go, you have the hidden book. So that's also API testing, guys. Make sure that you know what you're doing there. Just change identifiers. It's really not that hard. Now, if you guys really want to get into API testing, I would recommend that you watch my API Hacking with Postman series. Link will be in the description below because in that series, I explain exactly how you can set up Postman, how you can use to hack these kind of things. Because of course, I'm working with a browser right now and that's not ideal. Now, let's look at that code a little bit. Let's see how it works because this one is really, really simple to be honest. And I pulled some tricks on you as well. There's basically two arrays and uh, the first array is for showing all of the books. If you go to the slash all, it shows the first array. Um, and if you go to, to, this is the first array. And if you go to the specific identifiers, if you don't have an identifier, it's going to give you an error. We can see that as well. If I have no identifier for my books, I can't even get it. So. Uh, if I see ID is empty, the, the page doesn't even respond properly. Uh, and then I can create, oh, of course, the page doesn't respond properly. I'm terribly sorry, guys. Let's try this again. So if I have an empty URL, you can see that I get a specific value error here. Now, this in and of itself, I need to make sure that 
the outside world doesn't see this. This is way too much information. If you're building an application, first of all, kill your shadow APIs. Second of all, make sure that you don't disclose any of this information to the outside world. This is not useful to me as a client. This is only useful to you. So it's really important that I don't get to see this because now I know how the thing works a little bit more and all of the information that you give me is going to be important. Now I see that the system has fully crashed because it's this value error. This is what I wanted to achieve, but apparently I've been able to crash the entire system, not even giving it an identifier. So that's something you really don't want to see as somebody who works there. So let's go to the last challenge because there's also a last challenge, of course. There's three challenges. There has to be, the last one is going to be API flag.py. And if you look at this challenge, there are some, some resources here that you're going to need to look for. And what I gave you guys, I gave you guys this specific resource, or at least this is something you could easily find. Let's start up this challenge real quick, so, shall we? So Python API flag is on Pi, and we're starting this on port 5003. Now I have this URL that I gave you guys. Let's copy it real quick. This one is a slash security blah. And the thing is, you can't even do this in your browser, this one, at least not in this browser, at least in Chrome. You'll have to use Firefox or something for that. So if you go back, you can see that these are not the posts that you're looking for. And that was actually a clue because you had to use the post method. If you use the post method, you actually get the flag. And that's what I was going for. So I'm thinking about making this into a room on try hack me. This is going to be the official walkthrough then. So thank you very much, everybody, for watching. I can't believe my nephews are watching me. It's so plentiful. This is freaking amazing. Thank you so much for being here, my friends. Thank you for everything. And I want to give you a giant hug. So guys, come here. I love you. And I will see you in the next one. Oh.